Good afternoon, it's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Friday's trading, end of day's trading, 21st of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's see exactly what's uh, happening here in terms of the markets. Now, the main focus really is uh, the uh, election on Friday, folks, okay? Uh, the uncertainty, the fear... The potential outcomes, etc., are numerous. Okay, uh, again, it's a four-way race, so markets could certainly um, shift either way. Uh, at the moment, we're currently seeing a massive sell-off in oil, uh, and that certainly is hurting sentiment as well. We have had weaker data on the back of uh, U.S. PMIs, but uh, U.S. housing uh, sales certainly on the stronger side. Asian markets relatively um, flat, stroke higher overnight. And really, the focus has been on um, on the uh, the actual fr French election. So I think that will dictate sentiment. We still have North Korea in the background, though. Uh, bear that in mind, okay? And like I said, we have had a major sell-off in oil, uh, and that certainly is hurting a dent in sentiment. You can see here quite a flush from 51 down to 49, so more than a $2 move, and we're still not finished. So the uh, price of oil certainly moving down $2 certainly is hurting. We've just had the rig uh, count out as well. That certainly has increased. Uh, the latest stats put it at uh, ever since the uh, OPEC attempted to cut output, rig counts have increased by 44%. So that certainly isn't good at all, okay? Uh, again, the French terror terror concern or terror threat as well over the uh, uh, overnight, that certainly, uh, certainly hurt the market as well, okay? Now, potential OPEC cuts, are, are they going to have any... Uh, any any influence on the price of oil? I mean, we've had an OPEC cut, and what's happened? I mean, we've had a rally up to 54, and then the market's given back everything all, all, all together. Now, we started off 48, we pushed up to 54, and the whole thing's gone right back to where it was because, uh, obviously, shale uh, is increasing output, and therefore supply concerns remain. So, interesting scenario. Okay, we'll see exactly how that responds, but again, net, net negative thus far. Uh, UK data today, retail sales on the weaker side, German data, PMI on the weaker side, French PMI on the stronger side, European PMI on the stronger side as well, Italian orders certainly on the stronger side, so again, interesting scenario there. Other than that, uh, we didn't really, add. yes, we had Mr. Draghi's speech, that certainly put the, uh, the Draghi put, and that certainly did prevent a sell-off in um, European in uh, equities, given the fact that Mr. Draghi stated that uh, if, the, if there was a downturn, then obviously there'd be additional QE and so on and so forth, so... He certainly put the drug he put certainly exists now where do we stand technically speaking let's see exactly where we are the daily chart let's start off with the daily chart and the german dax okay so we're still cons uh, basically consolidating we could certainly have a bear flag formation and hit that pivot low at 11 800 in the german dax so we could certainly be uh, due for a, for a major flush so certainly keep an eye out for that okay in terms of the daily chart and uh, the outcome on sunday 60 minute chart the german dax still in a bearish trend so lower lows lower highs obviously in this bearish channel certainly not broken out uh, german dax as well going towards a close certainly finished weak you have support at 12 10 12 0, 10 now let's see if that can hold okay and we'll see exactly how the market reacts again any potential outcome could occur on uh, on Sunday night, given the uh, election results of the first round. So, again, just keep an open mind, folks. Okay, no inherent bias in either direction. Just be flexible. Uh, daily chart of French CAC has a HNS formation. So again, be mindful. We did have a bullish engulfing candle that negated the red candle from the uh, 18th of April. So again, open minded. We actually attempted to close the gap at 500. So 5100. So. It was an impressive reversal and impressive thrust in the back of potential signs that Macron would actually uh, win comfortably in the first round and, and therefore obviously win in the second round. So at present, uh, we have a lower high on the French CAC, so just bear that in mind. You have a lower high. A lower high, therefore, thereby indicates a lower low. Okay. Having said that, on the daily chart, you also have the unfilled gap below, so just bear that in mind with the HS formation. The unfilled gap is at 4860 now. If I was a, well, I am a trader, but if I was uh, somebody who was going to forecast going forward, then you would uh, anticipate that gap to close in the back of, obviously, uh, the results. So, again, anything could occur, anything can happen, just remain open-minded, okay? No inherent bias in either direction, and obviously adhere to your risk management as well. Okay, French can't close the gap at 5080. We held that uh, resistance. Next potential support now, 5030. Let's see if we can hit the downside level there. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's bring up the weekly chart. Certainly um, lingering and holding on to that 7120 support on the daily chart. 
on the weekly chart sorry daily chart obviously we're holding that support level at the key 7100 zone if that were to crack there you are looking at seven zero seven thousand on the FTSE itself on the daily chart so just be be wary again like i said the french political election could dictate sentiment uh, having said that though 60 minute chart has held 7100 like a rock and one would argue that uh, we're certainly overdue a short squeeze 10 minute chart no lower low okay higher low if anything and one would argue you are looking at potential inverted head and shoulders and obviously a spike higher on the back of potentially the french election going in the right way so again let's see exactly what occurs okay uh, multiple multiple opportunities multiple possibilities in terms of the uh, actual uh, results from the first round of the uh, french election okay so french uh, so euro stocks uh, thrust higher to 34.55 before we reverse impressive uh, we certainly didn't close a gap at 34.70 so uh, certainly observe that 10 minute chart again we open up pretty impressively until we start to sell off uh, next potential support is seen at 34 20 on the downside okie dokie okay so again same type of formation here on the euro stocks as well on the daily chart uh, you have hns formation therefore looking for a bear flag and looking for the right shoulder to play out and obviously crush be crushed lower you have a gap fill here at uh, 33.20, so one would argue that you are looking for that gap to close. Okay, so again, remain open-minded. Okay, so I think that's a good summation. Uh, certainly a very strong possibility, technically as well, fundamentally too, if the election certainly comes in very close, okay, uh, and therefore you are looking for a potential sell-off towards gap fill to below. Uh, again, it's very hard to call, folks. All we can do as traders is react. No real direction in whichever we see i'm happy either direction okay as a trader just reduce your risk i've, I've closed a lot of my uh, trades going into the weekend as well because like i said the market could shift two three percent either side even more uh, i think we already know what happened with the brexit scenario where the uh, the markets uh, sold off quite substantially then reversed even with the uh, trump scenario as well so again just be nimble good risk management good money management and and keep trading goodbye now folks